Hi, welcome to phase four. We're going to build our own ISO. That's uh, our goal. So um, you maybe have seen already my other tutorials. So the hope is that if I going if I'm going to share all the knowledge about the ISO, that uh, at some point in time you give us feedback and say, hey, you can improve the ISO like this and like that. Now, without further ado, let's do this. So <clears throat> you go to github.com Arco Linux, you go to Arco Linux ISO, and you make sure that you have copy pasted this URL. So copied, that's all you need to do. Then you go to your um, file manager. And I always use the same um, structure in my system. It's up to you. To see how you do your structure but data is my personal stuff Arco Linux D is all the scripts that are from for uh, Arco Linux D ISO so you can install awesome on it you can install budget on it and then we have another folder which is called Arco Linux so it reflects the githubs so Arco Linux is actually reflecting the github let me close this one here it reflects the Arco Linux and the Arco Linux D, you see? So no confusion there. This is the Arco Linux D GitHub and this is the Arco Linux GitHub. Now what we do is we get this ISO down. So git clone, control shift V. And there you have it. You have now the Arco Linux ISO on your system. How big is this? It's about eight megabytes. This is going to be expanded to 2.2 gigabytes, right? So this is what you start with. This is your Arco Linux ISO. And then we've made it very simple. This is not gonna be a technical uh, film. This is just gonna say, hey, run this and wait. What you have to do is run number 30 build the ISO local. That's it. So open. Let's put this one there and that one here. And you say run number 30. He wants to know my password. In order to build an ISO, we need to clean your cache. Yes. Okay. Do you want to remove all your packages from cache? Yes. Okay. So if you at some point answer no, things will not move along. Do you want to remove unused repositories? Yes. Now it's time to sip from your coffee or sit back and enjoy maybe a good meal because it's gonna take a while. Now if any of the errors exists, it will, it will hold, it will stop. So you can really walk away from your computer right now and see um, whether uh, in a few minutes time whether everything ran perfectly or not. So what it's going to do is going to run actually, uh, so number 30 is going to run this one, build sh, and that's it. I'm not get, going to get any more technical than that in this video. And we're gonna wait for it. So pausing. I fetched myself some drink and as you can see everything is still working. Now we're 1129 packages, that's how many packages are there to have 2.2 gigabyte of information. So this video is just run ISO, don't change anything to the ISO, that's another video. Okay, so maybe a little bit of technicality. So what's gonna happen is that this, these scripts, and I've written almost there on 1029, it's gonna make here a folder, Arco Linux built. So this folder is actually not any more, any, 
not from you anymore it's from root so root read write you see you have you don't have permissions and it's going to build in here <coughs> a complete Linux system this is your complete directory system of Linux and that's what's going to be squashed or compressed and going to be put on your system later just saying okay it's still active I see quit guess we better put it on pause again at this point in time the heaviest work for your CPU will start take a look at the back end here CPU 9900% and this graphic says it all when it's going to create the ISO itself so 2.2 gigabytes of it it's going to go full out 73 75 degrees already your fans are kicking in cooling your system and that's why I said maybe you need some hardware that's a little bit more eh? strong to for this job let's pause here and there we go the last actions here and this is your queue to see that everything is okay so info done 2.2 gigabytes Arca Linux 66.3 so this is a version that's not on SourceForge you've made it yourself you created it yourself by the way this is a version that's uh, suitable for the MacBook Pro users I have this old MacBook Pro here and I found out that uh, out of the box it does not find the wireless so I fixed that so the 6.6.3 instantly finds the Broadcom 4422 I think it is so that's um, a nice to know so we have now an ISO what should we do we should test it of course super F7 launches virtual box and then we have to uh, make a new one I suppose Arco Linux like so Let's quickly set 25 is something I take more or less. Then we have to tell him that he can take more CPUs than one. He can take 50, 50 and the same goes for this one. You are 3D maybe. Okay, that's it. So choose disk image. Now where is this ISO? This ISO is in the Arco Linux build in the Arch ISO, in the out, there we have your own beta version 6.6.3. Test it out. So start maximizing this thing. Control F. And there you go. Once everything works in VirtualBox, then you say, OK, let's try this out on SSD or hard disk. So, <coughs> I would say a ta-da is in order. The only thing you do is you know, follow the same installation you always do. And you say from which country you are, what uh, time it is, what uh, keyboard you want. So everything is the same in this regard, of course. And then you say your name and all that. next and next and off you go so now you have this 6.6.3 version uh, on your system in some time it's the there are some minor changes with the 6.6.1 for instance we have chosen to downsize the four um, workspaces to two that's probably enough uh, for most people 
on uh, laptops it was it, se it seemed to be coming too far we have your big screen but on smaller screens we have too much uh, pixels that we lose so okay so from four to two and then other minor things as well um, all you can see you can see them all on the well not all well yeah okay <coughs> What I want to say is that a ISO of 2.2 gigabytes is built out of Control F is built out of not just uh, this thing here. So you saw it's only eight megabytes. So eight megabytes is nothing. So what happens is that we get information from other places as well. We get information from all the other GitHubs. So an ISO is like a puzzle, a puzzle getting information for Genie, getting information about nitrogen, getting information about Planck, and so on, and so on. So there are two pages, right? So all these, in, these puzzle, the pieces of the puzzle fit right in, into this ISO. And then, um, like I said here, Arco Linux is Arch, AOR, and Arco Linux. So the only thing you see here are Arco Linux elements. So this icon. You don't see the AOR and you don't see the Arch. But in the end, when everything is installed and you've created an ISO of 2.2, it's this three elements, these three elements are building out or building up Arco Linux. All right? Just wanted to share that with you. Now let's wait for it and let's pause here. Okay, all done it says. So restart now, done. And we're going to see if everything installs or for runs. So this is the ISO, the DVD that's still in there. And this is your hard disk. So we're gonna boot and see what we installed. What we so there you go. <coughs> You have now your own um, ISO, you created your own ISO, you can log out and choose to go for open box or say no, not open box, I would rather have i3 and you go to i3 and there you go and say no, I'd rather go back to XFC. So it's all up to you what you decide, you have three desktops in one ISO, that's the fun, that's the learning process you need to, well, you can go to. Okay, I believe um, <coughs> nothing needs to be said anymore, everything is installed. Um, you just try it out now and have fun.